always wanted to play the guitar. A few, few weeks ago, Marty McFly pushed me over the edge, went out, found a cheap second-hand Strat type, fell in love. Took her apart, figured out the mechanics, the electricals, but it's more than just science. It's art. And I want to do more art. Now, when I was 17, I think, I, uh, I had my first car, a uh, minivan, 850 minivan. I bought uh, an engine, an 1100, 1098, and uh, stripped it down and over a period of months rebuilt it. And for that purpose, I bought a shed. Now that garden shed is still in existence. And here it is. So this would have been 1976, 1977. Uh, it's done quite well to, uh, to still exist at, at this time. Now in here, the usual uh, set of gardening, gardening tools. Uh, that's not of uh, direct interest at the moment to me, but there's still the workbench that I used way back then to strip down and rebuild mini engines. So my favorite thought on this one at the moment is uh, get it out. Get it out, uh, see if it'll go into the back of uh, my father's car, and, uh, and we transfer that one. So with a bit of luck, we'll have a workbench and a fair amount of basic tools. Well, I reckon I've uh, planed off about a millimeter of oil and grease. Uh, there are still some patches where it seems to have gone a lot deeper. A really cool bit about uh, doing this was this plain William Marples and Son Hibernia Work Sheffield. You know the really cool bit? This has got my grandfather's name on it. Sort of makes it a bit special. Uh, anyway, now on to this little chap. Yeah, well. This is most of it. Haven't been through it one by one yet, but uh, wow. This is already fun and I haven't started yet. Now that is what you call a mallet. Probably a deadly weapon as well. So here I am with my youngest daughter and I'm going to tell her my idea and I want you to see her reaction. I am going to build a guitar I'm and maybe even enter it into a competition and I have three months to do it. What do you think? I mean you told me already you were gonna build a guitar. You didn't say anything about a competition, but do you get money for it? <laughs> Capitalists, a lot of them. So, I've got that support. Uh, my wife doesn't know yet, but my daughter knows, so it won't be long. Even the bells ring out in support. So, first thing, tidy up. Second thing, let's have a look at what we've got. In no particular order. Think you recognize this? Back plate. Tuners. Pretty, if nothing else. Not locking. Wilkinson pickups. Lovely old style ashtray bridge. Not sure whether that cuts into your hand as you're playing. Certainly we'll find out. 
covers. Got the covers. Strap the buttons. Silver, gold, gold and black. We shall choose when we get there. Got lots of coloured screws, which I've uh, messed up, of course. But I'm sure it'll become uh, pretty obvious what fits where. Tiny little Allen key, so probably for the bridge. Little springs in this one, probably something to do with the tuner. And this rather pretty little thing here. Which will slot nicely into the... Uh, Body magnets. These things are quite super. Tiny little magnets, hopefully for the uh, truss rod cover, if I can figure out how to fit one onto uh, a tele body. And of course, the best bits the neck, one piece, mostly drilled. Not really sure of the quality, doesn't really matter, as I'll say multiple times, I'm here to learn. Not really sure about the frets yet. Tiny little black uh, inlays for the uh, markers. I intend to replace those, I've got an idea for that. But I need to test it out on a bit of wood first before I reveal. And then of course, the body. This is the one I showed you in the last video, partially completed, the uh, the damage on it only appears to be this little bit here. We'll try uh, various methods of uh, probably filling that to start off with. It has an ivory inlay on the bottom. Probably I'll try to do some, uh, what am I saying, inlay binding on the bottom. Probably try to do uh, binding on the top. Well, I have no choice really. Okay, I've decided not to put on another coat of the grain filler. If I put one on, it won't do any harm, but I won't know if it was one too many for future. So let's not do it, see what happens, and then realise I should have done it. That way I learn more. That's going to be my excuse. Okay, so we're going to press on with uh, three coats of the primer. Okay, so after three coats of primer and leaving it for basically 48 hours, um, I'm pretty Im impressed. There were one or two small runs, which we got from uh, the classic holding the paint uh, spray to 
long in one place. But other than that, I'm now going to uh, sand it down with uh, 600 grit and uh, apply another three coats. Okay, GGBO update. On July the 28th, I got hit by a stroke. Yep, bit of a bummer. Kind of mucked up the uh, GGBO. Just got out of hospital a couple of months later. So, um, yeah, I had some uh, content. I'll see how well I can work with that. Um, but I'm afraid to my loyal fans, this year's contest is a bit off. But it, all is not lost. It is coming back. As soon as I can figure out how to 
do stuff with only one arm. But all is not lost. And here we see the technician at work removing the screws. And the technician continues with the unscrewing, showing just how securely the screw would. There we are. There we are. So, without much further ado, let us bring this back to the uh, internal study. Well, on the threadboard, I've done virtually nothing too. That was to be the next task. I did have plans to do the frets, colour it in somehow, change the nut, some way cut the ending. I'm not sure how to do it yet, although I'd marked it out. So, so the fretboard, apart from the uh, tuning machines requirement to add the tuning machines in, is pretty standard. Pretty standard. Now the body, and I think you can see why I needed to get it out of the uh, garage come workshop. The finish has turned out pretty well. A couple of small little adjustments, tidying up will be required. But this was the results of, you can see, apart well, from the uh, mucky fan, handprint there, it turned out pretty well. This was the results of wanting probably another two or three coats of gloss and then the um, clear coat, but uh, having seen this for the first time, I must say I'm pretty pleased with the way it's turned out. Pretty pleased indeed, given that it's not actually finished. Right, well, after a slight accident in terms of uh, a spill cup of Horlicks, no accidents were recorded from a safety point of view. Um, we're looking here at the neck. The neck, the trick is with the neck is going to be applying the tuning machines and the screws very carefully for them. We're going to find out whether that's possible. Um, I, well, I did have some copper the idea being to create a logo that's probably not going to happen now i have the uh wonderfully prepared scratch plate that i already uh, applied with copper with on the back we have the pickups the pickups the pickups, the control, the ashtray and various other odds and sods for the back. Now the interesting thing is going to be what we saw with the body. I'm very pleased with the state of the body. We need to look at applying another two or three coats etc but that obviously is, is going to wait afterwards i've got to scrape away the uh, binding because the binding of course got covered in the uh, uh, paint basically if you have wondered whether the project was still on damn right it is I can't say enough how 
important this project has been in terms of recuperation, in terms of, I've only been out of the hospital for 10 days, but this project, I can't put into words how, how important it is. So what I'm going to do is as much as I can up until the deadline, produce as much, I want music coming out of this guitar. I want some noise coming out of it. It's that simple. It's that simple. doing a video. You're reading me my porridge while I'm doing a video. Right. Then how is that? She is in tune. Thank you for my porridge. Yes. <laughs>